person uh, is Miss Tika. Uh, we're getting ready for the word. So we ask that you all sit back this afternoon and get the word from Miss Tika. Uh, she's coming to you in her own way. And if you need to call her, uh, she will give you a few minutes after her program. We'll just say maybe five to three minutes after the program. If you want to call her, you can call here at this station, 592-1170. And she will be glad to give you whatever she can give you and whatever you ask her. So at this time, we're going to bring her on. And um, the next voice you will be here will be none other than Miss Tika. Welcome to Tika Talks, as she touches on everyday topics and issues in our lives, encouraging and uplifting. And now, without further ado, introducing Tika Talks. Hello, y'all. I am Tamika Marable King. Thank you for tuning in to Tika Talks. So, um, today, let's just jump right on in and start out with my little story or my little analogy you know so the sun is a light 24 hours a day seven days a week all year long all decade long all century long the sun is shining the problem however is that the earth still gets dark now you might be saying how with all that light does the earth still get dark <laughs> <laughs> so the earth turns uh -huh. and because it turns on its axis that is the reason that it gets dark uh -huh. um, so the side that is facing the sun receives the light uh -huh. the side that is facing away from the sun does not um, if there is darkness in your life uh -huh. it's not because God the father of lights is turning from you but could be because you are turning mm -hmm. from him. Amen. Um, there is no darkness in him. Mm -hmm. God is faithful. Mm -hmm. He is consistent. And just like the sun, he is always shining. Mm -hmm. And in his light, there is no shifting or moving shadow. Mm -hmm. We just have to make sure we are turned toward him. Mm -hmm. So you have to ask yourself, mm -hmm. am I in God's presence or am I walking with a rebellious attitude? Mm -hmm. um, now, I know a lot of people claim to not be rebellious. Mm -hmm. Definitely adults. You know, we like to think that we listen and we follow directions accordingly. Mm -hmm. Whatever that may be in your life. But um, rebellion is defined as the action or process of resisting authority, control, or convention. It's rejecting instructions or orders. It's opposition to one in authority or dominance. Really, it's just the refusal to be obedient or to take orders. It's just, you know, that's it. We have to learn, though, that we have to live holy. Mm -hmm. And, you know, to live holy, that's something we're going to exercise every day. It's something we're going to strive to do on a daily basis. And so the more we read, the more we understand, and this is the book, you know, I'm talking about the Bible, the word, mm -hmm. God's heart. Mm -hmm. The more you read, the more you'll understand. And then the more you understand, the easier it is for you to line your life up with the word, mm -hmm. you know, because that's the goal for all of us mm -hmm. to be living the way that God says so. Mm -hmm. But you can't do that if you don't spend time in him. That's right. As I stated, he is faithful, you know. He, we need to be true and devoted to him as well. Um, you know that rebellion is everywhere. It is fed greatly in our culture today. Mm -hmm. In the schools, on jobs, at home, even in the church. Mm -hmm. People have a spirit of rebellion. That's right. And, you know, it's not that they want to talk about it. It's not that they even want to admit it. Mm -hmm. But they do. We do. Mm -hmm. Um I think that everybody at some point in your life has experienced having a rebellious spirit or a rebellious 
attitude, just in human nature, you know, not always wanting to listen or obey your parents and, you know, things like that, which make it easy for you to be experiencing that. But there are things that open the door to rebellion too, such as self-pity. Because whenever we are functioning in a state of self-pity, you know, we immediately become discontent. So if you're not satisfied and you're not happy, you know, then you want to try and be in control of something, which is another issue with rebellion. Wanting to be in control. Whew. I, you know, th this is something that I think God has been dealing with me on. And y'all know I, I like to share as it relates to my own self. And, you know, I, I am one who definitely struggles with trying to be in control. So this new breaking that I have been experiencing in order to function in the gift that God has given me and to be able to minister and say what I need to say when I need to say it to those who are tuned in or going to tune in because of, you know, God. Um, I'm, I'm just, I've been in a place of just trying to get God to help me understand myself deeper than I do, you know? Oh, yeah. And so for that reason, this is the topic that came up. And because, you know, this topic came to mind, I thought to myself, God, I think I can admit that I suffer from rebellion. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you ask yourself, how many things have God told you to do that you have still not, you, you still ain't done it? Uh -huh. You know, how many years have gone by mm -hmm. that we were given instructions from God That's and we right. sit on those instructions? That's, That's a spirit of rebellion. That's true. You know, so if, if you don't recognize it, mm -hmm. you need to recognize it today. Mm -hmm. And that's part of holiness, being able to examine ourselves, um, something that we really need to do daily. Yeah. Examine ourselves and examine our hearts to see where we are. Mm -hmm. See what we need help in. To see where we need God to cleanse us. Mm -hmm. Because it's necessary. Mm -hmm. You know, the spirit of rebellion was introduced in the Garden of Eden. Mm -hmm. That's where you first see it. Mm -hmm. You know, out of all the things they could have been doing, all the places, all the trees, everything, you know, mm -hmm. she was led to the tree that she was told not to, the one the one tree y'all know we a hot sizzling miss yes, sir. and we she went there so okay. there you have it All right. and then in numbers you know they the rebels came against Moses and Aaron yeah. wanted to you know say how they think they're better they think that okay that wasn't even the case yeah. the text tells us that Moses is one of the uh, Moses was the most humblest man on the earth so how or why would they be trying to come against him in that manner? But it said when they did, he fell on his face. So the thing we need to learn to do when we aren't in the right place, when we aren't in the position that we need to be, or we're not functioning in the posture that we were created to function in, we need to function in, we need to fall on our face and begin to seek God, begin to pray and lay before him. And so as he did so, you know, he he already knew this was a bad thing. He's like, oh, my, y'all tripping, okay? Y'all trying to come up against me. Y'all, oh, snap, let me let me get down. So there he, there he was, praying and interceding on behalf of those who were innocent and who weren't trying to come against him. And then he had them to, you know, he got up, gave them instruction on what they needed to do. The following day, it said the earth swallowed them. It opened up and swallowed the rebels. And rebellion was, you know, the thing, the third thing in the wilderness. Y'all imagine somebody or, you know, just doing something for 40 years, walking in a daggone circle for 40. That is ridiculous, is it not? But one of the things they struggled with was the spirit of rebellion. And they thought they needed, you know, people were trying to be in control. They didn't need to try and be in control. So we don't need to worry about somebody else who's in leadership over here. That's right. You know, you follow the instructions God has given yes, you. Right. Mm -hmm. You be obedient to that. And see, I think obedience is big and that people struggle with being able to obey. Mm -hmm. You know, we just don't want to be told what to do. That's, That's right. what it boils down to. <laughs> and if you are, you know, under leadership mm -hmm. and you are questioning the leadership, mm -hmm. then you likely don't need to be under the leadership or you're just simply being a rebel. That's right. So you need to recognize which it is and then... Mm -hmm. You know, you do what you need to do according to that. Mm -hmm. 
I don't want to have my blessings blocked because I choose not to obey. Mm -hmm. It is a choice, okay? It's not that, you know, we are, um, it, it, I mean, no worries. It's just a choice, mm -hmm. period, okay? Mm -hmm. If we are choosing to not obey mm -hmm. and if we are choosing to continue walking around jealous because, mm -hmm. you know, jealousy also opens the door to rebellion. Mm -hmm. It's just wanting something that mm -hmm. you can't have. And, That's you know, right. um, in numbers, it was called the rebellion of Cor Korah, mm -hmm. and um, he was he already had a position, mm -hmm. but here he is wanting something that did not belong to him. He wanted the position that Moses had. Mm -hmm. Well, we we always think we want to go higher, mm -hmm. but you don't even know what the cost is to be there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Moses was not trying to answer the call, mm -hmm. just like most of us. He was running in the opposite direction, like okay, not me. I don't, you know. I'll Amen. pass, give it to somebody else. God Amen. is saying, I'm not giving it to someone else because I have assigned it to you. Mm -hmm. It is what you need to be doing. Mm -hmm. It is your assignment. Mm -hmm. Okay? So in saying that, you know, when we examine ourselves and we find that there are things going on on the inside of our heart that we don't desire to have, then we got to begin to work on that. Mm -hmm. You know, we got to be able to say, you got to be able to accept that that's what's going on for one, mm -hmm. because too many times we are in denial. That's and, right. you know, when you're in denial, you can't get anything mm -hmm. fixed. Anything is going to, nothing's going to change if you're denying the that's truth. Right. Mm -hmm. that's so right. you got to be able to say, okay, this is what it is, God, and this is where I'm at, and I need help with this, mm -hmm. whatever it may be. Um. Let me see. Let me see. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything because I was excited about this topic, y'all. I just thought to myself, man, that's, that's good. something good. And that is yes. something that we all can relate to. We all have experienced, mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. if for a short while, mm -hmm. you know, your children experience it. They, they don't want to listen to us. <laughs> they don't want us to tell them what to do all the time. That's right. that's and we are, as adults, sometimes we really don't want our parents to be running their mouth. But they do and we listen. But that is all spirit of rebellion mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so you know i know we respect our parents but That's at the same right. time sometimes you just be like oh shoot oh, oh, why don't you <laughs> but don't say it listen listen y'all don't i don't want to see y'all with missing teeth because your mama done smacked you you know <laughs> but that's the truth we got to get in position to be blessed and to hear from god mm -hmm. okay so you know you got to be able to say, okay, this is it. This is, I'm laying it all before you, Lord. I desire for you to cleanse me. I want to be new. I want to be different. And that's what yeah. we work on every day. That's right. You know, yes. I, I desire to be different than what I used to be. Mm -hmm. And as I continue to work towards that, there are still things that come up in our lives. You know, mm -hmm. just because you choose to follow Christ right. does not mean your life becomes easy. That's, mm -hmm. that's right. You know, the truth is to me that there are many more hardships that we face and encounter. Mm -hmm. But yes, because we are trusting God, mm -hmm. because we, you know, are walking with him and he mm -hmm. with us, then we can get through those things a lot easier than before. Mm -hmm. You know, if there is any type of chaos going on, you got to get to the root of that. That's right. So if there is no peace mm -hmm. in your home, mm -hmm. that means chaos is going to come in. That's right. You know, that the spirit of rebellion can come in. That's right. And in the Bible, it says that um, rebellion is like witchcraft. Mm -hmm. So if it's like witchcraft, mm -hmm. and I know those who are out there listening to me, mm -hmm. us sitting right here, we mm -hmm. ain't wearing no witch hats. We ain't brewing no pots, right, you right, know? Right. And if we're not, then we need to be able to say, okay, God, mm -hmm. I need to be checked on this. Mm -hmm. I don't desire to have this mm -hmm. in me. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to be clean. I'm, try I'm trying to move, okay? Amen. Yes, Amen. And I want to move forward, not backwards, mm -hmm. forward. Mm -hmm. So don't, don't be, you know, in denial. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to admit it or be ashamed of it. Mm -hmm recognize it for what it is mm -hmm. thank god for the ability to do so mm -hmm. and then move forward and every time it tries to come in you know you got to check it every time mm -hmm. I, and it's as easy as you know you could say to your son go sit down mm -hmm. and he might sit down but on the inside it's springing up mm -hmm. that internally he's standing up because mm -hmm. he don't want to listen mm -hmm. it's a spirit of rebellion 
pray against it. You know, pray for those who are experiencing it, including yourselves. Right. Um, just desire to be new, desire to be different, desire to do the things that God is calling you to do right. every day. Mm -hmm. Not just one day out of the week, not just on Sunday, That's not just right. on Wednesday night at Bible right. study, but y'all, right. it's every day. Every okay, day. you got to you gotta be real with it. That's right. Okay, because you ain't going to fake it till you make it in the kingdom, That's I'm trying right. to tell you. That's right. So, with that being said, I just want you to know that I absolutely love you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for tuning in. I want you to do what you do best, and that is being you. Mm -hmm. God bless you. This week's shout out goes to, um, y'all know I really just don't even want to give a shout out every week. That's a yeah. shame, ain't it? <laughs> That's real. I am going to give this week's shout out to my babies, mm -hmm. uh, Monet, Tasha. Jordan, Xavion, and Paige. I absolutely love them with all of my being. God bless y'all. I want you to have a great week. Oh, all right. You have just heard Miss <laughs> Tika. And she will be here for maybe three to four minutes if you'd like to call her. But we're going to ask you to give your info. Your, your Facebook. Oh, they, okay. Um, you can reach me on Facebook, uh, Instagram, Anchor. Ooh. Uh, I started a podcast, y'all. So you join me on Apple iTunes. You can find me on, at, under Tika Talks. It's T-E-E-K-A-T-A-L-K-S. And that's across the board. Everything that I'm on, every site, every social site, everything is listed under Tika Talks, okay? Um, same thing with my email. You can reach me at TikaTalks at Yahoo.com. And then you can call up here right now if you need to talk to me. That number is... 592... 1170. There you have it. And this is Miss Tika. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we have enjoyed Miss Tika along with her husband. Thanks, and it's such a beautiful young couple. Uh, and uh, I enjoy her every Sunday afternoon. Thank you. And uh, you may not think no one is getting something out of it, but somebody is. So don't ever feel like that you know, nobody's listening because they don't call. That don't mean they're not listening. Right. But if they listen to 1170 and they don't switch that down, they hear you. <laughs> so we know that you are at the nursing homes. We do know that. And so, uh, as always, we do enjoy you. And we look back on next Sunday evening at 615 to hear Miss Tika along with her husband, Mr. King. What's it? Is it for sure, Jack? Philip, Mr. Philip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mr. Philip. And his dad is uh Mr. J. Harrell. His mother is Reverend uh Kim. Preaching lady. Beautiful lady in the Lord. And so uh this is their daughter in law. Uh, are you the baby? No, uh, he's the knee. <laughs> he's the knee baby. And you all stay tuned on next uh, Sunday afternoon at the hour six o'clock to six fifteen. And again, they will be here for the next two to three minutes. If Them two to three minutes is up. Okay, okay. she said the two to three minutes is up. Oh. So y'all have to follow her on Facebook and all them other books and things she told you about. <laughs> and uh, again, sweetheart, we did enjoy you. Thank this you so afternoon. much. Have a blessed week. You too. And y'all remember the word, rebellious.